Greetings, welcome to Mary is the New Evangelization, where we look at things through the eyes of the Divine Feminine, the Virgin, Perpetual Virgin Mary. And her perspective is really the only perspective that will bring you to complete and total understanding of what's going on, complete and total discernment. If you're looking at things through her eyes, you you got it right. She she basically is the binoculars of the spiritual life. Okay, so she is the binoculars of the spiritual life. That came from Tomasio Vismarian. Okay, that is me. She is the binoculars of the spiritual life. You gotta look at the spiritual life through her. Now the people who are saying they're divine feminine all about divine feminine. They're not about the Divine Feminine. They're about the Fallen Feminine. That's what they're about. Uh, sorry, you can follow Eve all you want. She fell. Okay, she went for Lucifer. That's what she did. Mary, our mother, did not. The Virgin, the Perpetual Virgin Mary. So, uh, <clears throat> All right, basically this is this is how it's it's coming this way. Earth Day, Happy Earth Day, and the Ezra Land has put out um, fight global warming, not homosexuality. What kind of not gay marriage, not gay marriage? Okay, that has got to be the most brother Ezra man. Seriously, homosexuality. No, let me phrase it this way. Gay marriage contributes to global warming. How does you, you might say what? What are you talking about? Gay marriage contributes to global warming. Okay. You might say, well, how? How does gay marriage contribute to global warming? Well, it's very simple. Um Global warming is basically that the, the heat generated on the earth cannot escape into the atmosphere. Okay, so all the bad stuff, you know, that we're exhaling to get out of us, you know, germs and things of that nature uh, aren't going away. That's a problem. Okay, they used to dissipate into the atmosphere. And, uh, you know, that's not happening. So, there's a blockage. Now, where is the blockage from? The blockage is from um, I mean, if you think, where where is the blockage from? The blockage is from the souls that are trapped here on the earth. The souls that are trapped here on the earth and they can't get into heaven yet. So um, that's that's the warming, guys. That is the warming. The souls, that's what's going on here. So... We keep killing all these soul, these people through abortion, and basically we're causing global warming. So you don't want to discourage marriage at all, because really marriage is the key to having children. That's the key to the human race surviving. So. Anything out there to discourage marriage between a man and a woman and, and having kids is just um, contributing to global warming. Okay, the, the family unit is really the key to survival. And if we choose instead to just kill them before they're even born, oh... Gosh, now you might say, well, the gay marriage wouldn't involve abortion. And that's true. On that level, you know, it certainly would cut down 
potentially on abortions, okay? Because everyone knows that if you're gay, you can learn how to, you know, be attracted to the other sex. I mean, it's not that hard. You know, it's really not that hard. It's not like, oh, oh, you're a lot of disgusting. No, it's not like that. Humans can adapt quickly. So that's one of the big myths out there. Now, not saying your orientation would necessarily change, but you would be too busy with, you know, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, then, or your husband or wife, then to worry about it. So that's, that's really, uh, the problem you know we really want to encourage people to continue to get married and have children I think that's critical because if we're not having children we're aborting children it's not it's not any other there's no other way okay because a lot of the contraception is abortion we know that and right at the moment of conception that's when the soul is formed so these souls need somewhere to go uh, because their bodies are taken away from them. So that's, that's part of the problem. So anything that's contributing ultimately to abortion is not something we should support. Now that does not mean that someone who is gay is bad or evil or anything like that. It just means gay marriage is not a good plan. It's really not a good plan. <clears throat> it doesn't make sense. It's it's counterproductive to really the survival of the human race. So you really can't do that in good conscience as a human being. So <clears throat> okay, well, there she goes.